Okay guys, welcome to the show. Uh, we'll be talking about a couple of different stuff. I hope it's exciting. It's exciting for me because I'm talking to friends. I'm discussing everything that I'm doing that is different from what has traditionally been uh, seen as the job market. So you'll be uh, meeting different entrepreneurs, different investors, different idealists, people who are doing awesome stuff on the internet, uh, people who are using tech in a different way, people who are working on awesome ideas and they're all my friends and that's why I decided to have this conversation with them. So welcome to the show. In the first episode, I'm talking to a friend of mine called Dennis Ocheng. Dennis has this awesome startup called Ecody that's solving different problems within the real estate businesses. So he has uh, two solutions to two different problems. One is called gated, one is called rented. So in this episode, we talk about the uh, different stuff he's working on, the challenges he's faced, what inspires him, what pushes him to continue doing it, how he gets funding and all that. And so welcome to the first episode. This is the first guest. And what's your name? <laughs> I'm Dennis. Uh -huh. Dennis Oche. Uh, Dennis, uh, how do we know each other? <laughs> he keeps on laughing, you know. <laughs> it's my share, I can laugh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I've known you a couple of years now. 2014, uh, 2014, 2013. 2013? No, 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 no. You're too young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 2013. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so, Kisumu Lake Hub. Like up 2015 yeah. or 2014? Yeah, I believe. Because we went to uh, Ampion together. That's the yeah, 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 I, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. was... That's 2015. Anyway, so what do you do? I don't even have a set of questions. You're just going to talk about stuff. So I wear many hats. Mm -hmm. um, most the people who know me as an entrepreneur, <laughs> yeah, the people who know me as a, a software developer, mm -hmm. I do design. I do everything from, yeah, the whole nine yards of uh, of what of, of, of hustling. <laughs> so you describe yourself as a hustler, but what's what's the main thing? And you feel like this is the, my main passion. This is what I do. Yeah. Mm. So I am passionate about uh, solving problems in the real estate space mm -hmm. through uh, software and technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real estate. Real estate is seen as especially for developing countries it's like the next big thing for example in africa where people are going to be most places are going to be urbanized most people are going to be renting rather than living because we still have a lot of people living in rural areas will be moving so you're in a space that will be a very big space in the future do you feel we, like that? we um from where I stand, I believe that uh, we haven't really even scratched the surface. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there, there's quite a lot of things, even in the existing space, mm -hmm. there's still a lot of things that are done manually and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of potential in terms of uh, bringing in tech into this, mm -hmm. automating some uh, recurrent processes and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. but. Although you say that real estate is a very conservative space, why do you? Whereby say um, most of the guys, uh, the people who actually own properties, mm -hmm. are old guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're old people. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they're not uh, old. I mean, they are old. That's why they don't embr embrace tech, or are they just people who fear tech, or they're just people who feel like you'll be making money that they should be making. They are actually conservatives, mm -hmm. as in in that um, most of them haven't embraced tech. Mm -hmm. The farthest they go with tech is WhatsApp with mm -hmm. the a double Z. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, um, um, frankly speaking, um, there is still a lot to be done, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. uh, I believe we're at the initial stages whereby. Uh, even before we bring in new tech in terms of IoT and all that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have to first uh, make sure that we have a benchmark to from where things will rise from. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I live uh, in a an apartment rented uh, mm -hmm. from a real estate agent or agency. Uh, the most tech there is is when they send a water bill, the water bill, or when they send. Uh, How do they send that? By SMS. That's okay. the most tech there is. 
and how you pay how i pay for rent and the bills is written at the door so yeah that's the most tech uh what what solutions are you bringing into real estate like you're saying you're very passionate about so um it starts by i believe there's there are, lot, there are a lot of problems that we encounter in the real estate real estate real estate. space mm-hmm. and um there are for every niche in the real estate space there's still a lot of automation to be done mm-hmm. there's still <clears throat> uh, not just automation but the next big thing would be to make it in that um uh, you feel like paying rent for example mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so with the, the the only way we can we can we can bring i, I don't know if i'm answering your question you just <laughs> yeah. just stop uh-huh. <laughs> yeah so but um frankly speaking from where i stand uh, the, the, we've segmented the real estate space into different niches mm-hmm. and you are targeting the different niches with solutions that are tailored to for them yeah mm-hmm. to, to to solve problems that, that they, 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 they face yeah for example as someone who lives in this space what is a problem that i may not be aware of that you could be solving as someone who rents an apartment so when when was the last time um your agent uh when was the last time you had a disagreement with your agent with regards to say a water bill or uh, a bill that wasn't really wasn't. clear mm-hmm. yeah i guess at the end of the, because uh they say the unit uh, this certain amount of money for water and then at the end of the month you see like you've spent an amount that makes no sense so there's no way to call them because the person who sent you the bill says he was given the bill to send he doesn't even know the, who read the meters and everything what if you had digital meters mm-hmm. to make it uh, in that for every unit that you use you'd be able just to see, to see that okay uh, this month I've used five units mm-hmm. and uh, the going rate is 200 shillings mm-hmm. you're expecting a bill a of 1000 1000 mm-hmm. bob mm-hmm. so that's that's a typical example of mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. tech can get into the real estate, real estate space, space. space and make things more transparent mm-hmm. yeah because at the end of the day there's actually most, most, the biggest issue is usually <clears throat> around uh, accountability mm-hmm. and transparency mm-hmm. whereby you feel like uh that the caretaker is liaising with the agent to defraud you of mm-hmm. your chums mm-hmm. so that is what uh, chums is money chums is money so so then the day one of the things that we are trying to bring that transparency mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. it may the next time you get a bill you you don't even yeah, have yeah. queries you just feel like just okay i i need to I, i need to pay this mm-hmm. yeah i have a problem where i live uh the tap the pi- the pipe that brings water to the tap has a problem so it leaks yes. and i don't know the landlord of it's this place it's called the flexible tube yeah the yeah. flexible water <laughs> so there's a leakage uh, 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 and that happens when you open the main meter the main valve yeah so i don't know the landlord for this place i've never met him i've never seen him i don't know how he looks like yeah uh, there is no caretaker mm-hmm. uh, the only person i can interact with for every problem of mine is the person who brought me here the agent yeah uh, the agent's number is always off yeah it, it will only be on if you haven't paid rent on time definitely so, <laughs> is there like a solution for that uh, how, like so um how now you see if, in the different uh, uh, segments mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there are, the solutions have right. modules okay one of the key modules that uh, uh, will bring that, that 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 is being used by most of the agents the landlords and you the tenants is mm-hmm. a way of interacting mm-hmm. and uh, so what a typical tenant will do is you go you raise an issue you take photos if you need uh, to take photos of of, of say Uh, a broken tap mm-hmm. and then you'd send it on the same app uh-huh. to your agent uh-huh. Uh-huh. the landlord is uh, privy to such information, such information so that they also know that you have an issue Dixon that you... has an issue with the tap uh-huh. so that if uh, he's going to be charged later on that uh, here are some of the expenses that the agency uh, the way, that that that, uh, that um, 
who are in card in your property mm-hmm. he knows that yeah uh, a tap was six. Uh, fixed at Dixon's place mm-hmm. this and this and that so there's that tra- transparency, transparency. Mm-hmm. because you find that also most most landlords um, have uh, you find that the agents build them mm-hmm. the the agent might build them for something that they believe wasn't broken because the landlord might might not be in in, in Nairobi mm-hmm. he stays in Mombasa mm-hmm. Or he's down in South Africa, mm-hmm. but he's been built in a house that is in uh, Limuru. Uh-huh. How so he, he wasn't yeah. there physically to see that. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. So, like in your case, you don't have a caretaker, so there's no one to actually prove that. Come and uh-huh. confirm that uh, that will, there there's was an issue, issue at your place uh-huh. and it has been fixed or not fixed, uh-huh. Uh-huh. because he can. The agent can also get the cash, uh-huh. but not fix your issue uh-huh. until. You actually say, okay, I'll not be paying rent. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's when that's when they show up. Stuff mm. stuff works, yeah. So, like, you're talking of different modules. Yeah, I know them, but tell us what the different things you're doing in the real estate space. So, in the real estate space, we've segmented it into uh, a couple of yeah so focus think? areas, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, we are developing solutions uh, for the different niches. Mm-hmm. Uh, our co our first area of focus is uh your typical landlord stroke agent stroke uh, and caretaker, caretaker. <laughs> yeah uh-huh. those are the people who manage a property right uh-huh. so the biggest issue they have the landlord wants his cash uh-huh. he wants to know the status of the property he wants to know whether someone has left or the house is vacant or mm-hmm. occupied mm-hmm. those are the primary thing primary issues that uh, the landlord really wants to be sure uh, yeah mm-hmm. the agent just wants his commission mm-hmm. that is that is Doesn't that, that is his motivation mm-hmm. give him commission is okay is good mm-hmm. the tenant wants to live in a property that is safe that has their many that is worth worth paying for rent exactly mm-hmm. So how do you bring all these guys together? Because everyone has a problem that needs fixing. Mm-hmm. So like in the real in the in the property management space whereby we we have landlords and tenants and agents, mm-hmm. we developed a solution called rented. Rented, rented uh, yeah, it helps you pay your rent. Mm-hmm. It uh, helps the manager do reconciliations and all that. Because most la- you find that like uh for example how many um, tenants do you think your agent is handling right now i have no idea but i, yeah. I guess there are many because when i was looking for this space we went across very many buildings so um let me let me give you a typical scenario like in rocker mm-hmm. most agents uh, average between 1500 and 3000 tenants wow so imagine that guy needs to reconcile 500 Five. mm-hmm. and pesa payments Wow. on the 4th so that he pays the landlord, the landlord. say on the 7th mm-hmm. it's a big business wow it's it's mm-hmm. it's quite hectic mm-hmm. so that's where we come we we, we come and uh, we provide tools to make things easier, easier. Mm-hmm. for them in that when dixon pays it is reconciled dixon gets a notification that hey uh, you paid rent. you paid if you have got a balance this is your balance there's that transparency mm-hmm. the landlord also can generate a report on the 5th on the 1st on the 2nd just to confirm how are, how a guy is paying mm-hmm. how how is the uh, how is the status of what do i expect at the end of the day mm-hmm. yeah so that is billing mm-hmm. basically we are just going all out to make sure that billing becomes a breeze if you want to pay through a bank stk pushes there we can, we can basically the issue of uh, your, your 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 agent telling you hey uh, send me the bank slip mm-hmm. that shouldn't be there in this day and age mm-hmm. in the age of automation so that is what we are doing for billing um when it comes to things to do with uh, um communication mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh yeah your plumber should be coming down on wednesday how do we notify dixon that uh, the plumber is coming down mm-hmm. send you can you can shoot an sms mm-hmm. and all that and that is easily trackable, trackable. Mm-hmm. you can generate reports based on occupancy 
and each and every other thing. So a landlord can sit and know my property has this number of tenants, they're paid rent. Yeah. Uh, when you're, those who have, haven't paid rent, uh, you can see the amount you've raised, you can see if there is a problem, it has been reported and everything. Yeah. So that's rented. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then we've got gated. Uh-huh. We stay in a gated community. Yeah, get, 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 community. Get, get, get communities are rising up in each and every single corner in um, in, in Nairobi okay. and in Kenya mm-hmm. at large. Mm-hmm. So what they don't tell you when they're selling properties mm-hmm. is that when they sell the last property unit, mm-hmm. the ownership goes to the residents. Mm-hmm. So if I'm, if I'm say, um, I, I don't want to mention names, mm-hmm. but if, if, if I'm a property developer and I sell 50 units mm-hmm. and there are 51 units, when I sell the 50 first, first unit, unit uh-huh. I hand over the whole estate to, to the, the residents. The residents. Okay. Uh-huh. And then the residents should self-manage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you go to uh, areas like Red Hill and the likes, mm-hmm. you'd find that uh, over the past few years, there's been a lot of problems when the developer leaves you guys, he leaves you confused mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. there's no way to know, okay, how are the watchmen being paid? Who should be fixing the, 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 the pavements mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's where we came up Tally. with a solution mm-hmm. called uh, Gated. Gated. Mm-hmm. So Gated helps uh, you hand over in peace. Mm-hmm. Like this morning, I, I, I had a, I had a meeting with a property developer and he was like, this is an add-on to what he's providing because when he sells the last property, mm-hmm. he'll leave them with a system in place that helps them track not just collect the service charge, mm-hmm. but also see how to manage everything in the, in the in estate. The estate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then we've got um, estates uh, that were built, not, they're not really gated estates, but it's just that I've been there for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, the Ngumo area, the mm-hmm. high rise, mm-hmm. such uh, the Nyayo estates and mm-hmm. all the, all that, mm-hmm. they have a management board mm-hmm. and they've got residents. And they're managed through WhatsApp groups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's a, one person will be talking about uh, the, the the security issue. The and other person is yeah. sending a meme. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and the third person is here talking about uh, 2022. <laughs> you know? uh-huh. Yeah. So um, um, a way of structuring communication, a way of making sure that uh, they talk about stru- they they talk the structurally, uh-huh. and they also do things like the person who wants to 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 come and sell maize and all that they have a place to sell maize to Mm -hmm. the community members without issues Mm -hmm. uh for guys who like in very closed gated communities Mm -hmm. they have issues to do with security whereby you dixon cannot just walk in and say i'm going to i'm going to uh, as who uh, uh, (laughs) yeah uh, so we have uh in the gated community solution we also take care of things like security we make mm -hmm. sure that uh you can track visitors in and out of the estates. You can basically your security is also sorted it's also out. Also sorted out. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, for example, uh, someone who knows nothing about what whatever you're doing. Yeah. Do you sell the software or do you go ahead and manage everything? What what are you selling a software? Or are you doing the management too? So um, all our platforms are software as a service, mm-hmm. whereby I'll go and approach uh, a management committee. Mm-hmm. And or they'll approach you. Yeah, or they'll, they'll, they'll come mm-hmm. to us mm-hmm. and uh, we'll give them, uh, and, and they'll create a profile of mm-hmm. the estate. Mm-hmm. They'll add their residence and all that. Mm-hmm. They'll add how they bill and uh, set up how, how the billing schedule goes. So it, it, it can be customized to yeah. anyone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then the last thing is that uh, they start managing, managing it. Uh-huh. So things like sending broadcast communication, like emails and and, and SMS, SMS is, they can do that it's on all, the It's already yeah. in bill. Okay. And then they'll be paying, basically they pay an amount every single month based on the number of transactions that go through of the system yeah mm-hmm. and how has it been since starting it so um yeah what it's solutions been, for 
for for for Ecodi at large, mm-hmm. I think we're in the right trajectory. So because we didn't explain, Ecodi is the mother company yeah, to all yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. So Ecodi is the company, and then These we are have the solutions. The, 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 the solutions are, are, are just products of uh, targeted to different niches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how is it in the Kenyan space doing something like this? Um. So. It's quite challenging, mm-hmm. more so being a young guy trying to hack the, the, the conservative real estate space where mm-hmm. the who and who are, are the big people. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's been quite challenging, mm-hmm. but uh, I think we, we've gotten, we, we, we've learned our list of lessons and we are, we are now on the right path to make sure that uh, we actually hack it mm-hmm. because we have quite a number of users. Mm-hmm. across the the, 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 the the two platforms mm-hmm. uh, better users uh, are uh, around 3500 and wow. we've been uh-huh. trying this for just a number of months mm-hmm. uh, we are planning to go all out by uh, November that's when we now target the, the, the market just to make sure that uh, we actually get the numbers, get the numbers yeah. yeah because as a Kenyan uh, startup you know, an idea like yours that's very good somebody from somewhere else just comes in pumps you know what? money <laughs> ideas are cheap <laughs> uh-huh. so um, even right now i believe there are so many people who because it's it's a pretty huge problem mm-hmm. and uh, there are so many people who also who ex- who have the same same sort of ideas same or idea. dreams uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. and ideas are cheap just uh-huh. as i said it's uh-huh. all about uh, the execution uh-huh. Uh-huh. and um, We've had time to actually do research to uh-huh. try out. To, we've, we've iterated quite a number of times, uh-huh. and some of our users who've uh, been there from through the from journey, the, yeah, through the journey, uh-huh. I, I believe most of them will be having very like a, a very moderate uh, purchase price uh-huh. because. We've done quite a number of iterations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you are very confident about uh, what, where you are and the solution because you learned from mistakes. I don't know, yeah. but you've really understood the market better than anybody who will try to do the same thing. Exactly. And what do you think about generally the startup space in Kenya? Because as someone who sometimes writes about tech, yeah. I realize that most of the startups I will cover or talk about from outside global is from spain civil is from egypt uh Kobo is from nigeria something from where oh, what do you think of the startup space in kenya so we have a vibrant uh, startup ecosystem mm-hmm. i believe there are so many people who are solving real problems mm-hmm. uh in in in, 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 in our space mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, there's usually a disconnect between one the people who need funding the people who have the prob- have the problem think of a solution but don't know how to execute and rope it in with the with, with the practical business model mm-hmm. the people so uh, you find that there are so many people working on solutions mm-hmm. and uh, it's not really clear cut whereby you can find uh, i believe I'm, i've not been in the silicon valley but i've read about uh, how they support the the the, 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 the yeah, ecosystem so I, I believe that there are so many people who are working on very brilliant solutions but haven't really reached that point whereby they everything is clicking whereby when we look at the business model it's working it's working you got funding and go to market strategy uh-huh. it's perfect uh-huh. this and this and that yes it's a journey uh-huh. but most of us uh, I, they, we still don't have what it takes to to really like, compete yeah to, 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 to compete globally mm-hmm. but we really have there are so many good solutions out here trying to solve the yeah. Kenyan problem the African problem yeah and what do you think of uh, the Kenyan space where mostly you find that our problems are being solved by foreigners uh, you look at a big startup like Swivel one of the best funded startups in Africa currently yeah. they're just injecting like 1.5 billion Kenya shillings into the market. Yet we have we have had matatus in Kenya for the longest time. We have complained about public transport for the longest time. And now an Egyptian company is coming to sort of compete to the matatus sector. How does it make you feel like startups from outside are doing better in Kenya than local ones? Mm, I believe, yes, there's 
like in the matatu space there are so many like i've i've seen the guys like boopas trying to do that thing there that i've i've met quite a number of people who tried and failed mm-hmm. in starting out different things in the in the same same space mm-hmm. uh but so in generally speaking i know that uh we we know the we know the problems mm-hmm. we have some of the solutions mm-hmm. uh we still haven't and as i mentioned before we haven't really hacked uh getting the the, the checklist in order mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whereby okay um uh, i come up I, 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 I come up with the, with with the solution to a problem that mm-hmm. i face every single day mm-hmm. uh i find um, a good business model around it and then get some backing from uh, from uh, just to pilot and 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 research mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then roll out uh, say a cohort and just see how it they, they, how it mm-hmm, works mm-hmm, mm-hmm. most people don't do all that they don't go the the the, 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 the whole way just do to you make think sure it's that because they don't have the funding to do it or do you think it's because they don't have the support or what what is holding us because still on real estate you discover that the people in real estate like you're saying are old and yeah. big people yeah. and the people with money are being seen as not being uh, as not investing in very wise de- decisions mm-hmm. so is it that we don't have the imagination to invest in very good things that's why our our ideas that people have in Kenya are not being funded or getting the all through the way through the journey into everything before launching i don't know if i'm making sense of this question so so i uh, think the question is led yeah you've said our uh, our solutions don't go all the way what I'm, i'm i'm sort of seeing is it because of funding and if it's because of funding is it because we're investing in other things rather than investing in new ideas now so um sense. i hope the question now makes yeah, sense I, <laughs> 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 it's all jumbled up but uh-huh. okay let me let, let, let me and uh, uh, let, okay. let, let me see how to answer okay. it okay so there's different people who who are at different stages uh-huh. trying to solve different problems uh-huh. Uh-huh. and uh, so with the different stages it means the people who it's just the funding uh-huh. Uh-huh. but at times it's also not just not funding, just funding. Uh-huh. because uh, there is, i think i believe if you have something that actually works mm-hmm. you will you, you you'll it get will work. Uh-huh. Yeah, it you 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 the cash will come uh-huh. Uh-huh. but there's n- i think the, the biggest issue at times is just on support mm-hmm. because i was having i was having a, a, an interesting d- discussion with uh, jeremy viro I believe you know yeah, Riro. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, I was having a discussion with Riro. How do we tell who people who Riro is? Yeah so he's I'll a just fi- explain Riro <laughs> he's, 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 he's a financial analyst. Uh-huh. He actually does our financials. Finance. Uh-huh. So what what one of the key things that uh, he really he brought out is that you find that we yes we do have uh, solutions mm-hmm. to our problems. But what is it? I'm, I've lost my train of thought. Just <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Uh-huh. But uh, one thing that really came out clear is we have solutions to our problems. Mm-hmm. We don't know how to go all the way, or we don't have the support to go all the way. Yeah, it's about the support. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because Rio was telling me that uh, there so many founders because it does it does that to startups. It to does start-up. financial uh-huh. analysis uh-huh. and. business models for for, for startups uh-huh, uh-huh. he was saying that he's met so many startups who are passionate about solving a problem uh-huh. but they can't even pay their rent yeah so uh-huh. when you're in 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 in, in, such, in, a in, in, in such a situation uh-huh. you'll 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 prioritize you'll say uh-huh. okay uh what do, do I, I actually do I, need to do, do I should, should i eat <laughs> or, <laughs> or should, should, I, should i go should, should, should i go start <laughs> solving uh-huh. the matter to issue uh-huh. and then you'll find that uh, also in our culture there are so many people who will turn you down mm. yes as a, as a, as, a, as a startup as a as a founder you are, you expect to get so many no's mm-hmm. <laughs> actually getting no becomes no. the norm uh-huh. Uh-huh. but you find that if i had say uh, and uh, i'm sorry to say this if i had a white 
uh, or co-founder co-founder mm-hmm. but i've had this it's, discussion it's, it's, um, it's, i also it's, believe in this it's, it's very easy to or, get funded yeah. if you have a not, not just funded uh-huh. to get support to get support uh-huh. to have some to open some doors some doors true uh-huh. there are places that i've gone to uh-huh. that uh, you go to and you are asked hey so are you are you the owner? Are, are you the ceo uh-huh. because <laughs> I the so I have, expected I, I, I have to, I have two sets of business cards uh-huh, uh-huh. one that says CEO, CEO uh-huh. and then one that has a blank <laughs> just name <laughs> yeah. and uh-huh. name and uh, no designation uh-huh, uh-huh. so that when I go and talk to someone uh-huh. they listen listen out before actually before getting to judging, know yeah. uh, what part you play in the yeah. company but uh-huh. if you're going if you're going to a boardroom uh-huh, uh-huh. and you actually have to give out your CEO card uh-huh. The people who will just be skeptical and say, "Okay, these are those young men who are trying out." Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And do you think it's a problem with? Uh, is it just about race that a white person will do it better, or is it something we've put in our minds that if it's a black person, it can probably fail, or it will the money will be stolen? I don't know. What <laughs> What do you think makes people prefer? But what do you think makes white start white led startups? get funded easily well i have had this discussion with so <laughs> many people in, uh-huh. in, in so many different ideas about it uh-huh. but it's it's just a I, it's just a bias it's it's just i i believe it's just a bias uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh the same the same way as in each and every person has their uh, has one or two biases So yeah, it's just a matter, matter of way. B- uh-huh. breaking the biases. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, it's majorly about that, and uh, that is from where I, from where I stand. That is what I I, I feel. Uh-huh. But then again, there are people who are really actually who are working on very good solutions, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and uh, all they need is just a little boost. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I was asking you, uh, is it? Do you feel like as Kenyans we don't support our ideas or solutions to current problems that involve tech because if you will find people with money investing into stock market building uh, rental and spaces hotels and all that malls you've seen so many malls coming up do you think we do not support our we do not believe in our ideas or we just don't know how to support our own ideas because personally ukienda to a rich person or any person with in uh, capital that could help you that tell you those are the computer i just keep going get in and um, in most cases it's not even just computers mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so um it's very easy for uh for 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 guys who got cash to actually spend on things that they already see a tangible or something yeah. that has been tried and tested ideas yeah. are very hard to 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 fund unless you've hit a particular level level uh-huh. whereby people can see okay here are the cash flows uh-huh. here where they here are the customers yeah uh-huh. so they, they they already see something working uh-huh. but uh-huh. most guys never reach that point uh-huh. Uh-huh. i believe uh, there's so many people willing to fund to be part of the startup ecosystem uh-huh. but they don't get to the level where, where they can say okay uh-huh. i see this this and this and that it's been this done. so it's about done. Yeah, now this i can i can help you guys move, move to the to next this level yeah. uh-huh. and what yeah. do you think we can do as kenya because as before we had an issue with the camera you're saying about Uh, how many times you're told to get a real job by people yeah. <laughs> how do you get to a, a certain mindset where we can convince kenyans that it's not about just getting a job you can create one by doing something sustainable with this problem by solving it like yeah. you're seeing a problem in a certain sector of kenya you can solve it and create a jo- jobs from the solving of that solution how do you think we get to that mindset Oh, that's a hard one but uh, <laughs> uh-huh. so because when, 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 you, when you talk about mindset mm-hmm. because the mindset the mindset of an entrepreneur is uh, i believe you should you as as an individual because you you what people see in you is what you actually get as feedback mm-hmm. yeah so if uh, people see that 
yeah you 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 are pushing it you're trying to make it work mm-hmm. you you are doing you are, you are, you are determined to and persistent to do some stuff mm-hmm. and you do understand what you're doing what you're doing mm-hmm. i believe at some point i i at the end of the day i don't blame i i also don't blame the society mm-hmm. uh, in in scenarios whereby you find that uh someone isn't really getting any so funding i always support mm-hmm. yes there's that uh, level of support that you can get but you need to do your homework first you need to do some research you need to know you, you, you need to get before your you act right to, uh, before before you actually go and say okay i need support, I need support. because mm-hmm. you're not being supported to start to start you're being supported to support move to the to next scale. Scale. yeah mm-hmm. to to aid, not, not really to scale but mm-hmm. to move to the to next to level mm-hmm. if you have um, some problems mm-hmm. Uh right now I think most of the, most, most most guys I've met uh who've helped me in 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 solving some critical problems I've met through LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. You'll find that there's a there's 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 a there's a founder out there who's trying out stuff but mm-hmm. is not active on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. How will he get advice on some of the problems that he's facing? Mm-hmm. Because most of the time it's just a matter of get uh adding someone on linkedin mm-hmm. um telling them about asking it. them what, yeah mm-hmm. asking for coffee mm-hmm. uh, discussing to discussing with someone over coffee mm-hmm. might really solve and open new doors Grounds for you yeah. do you think uh we will get to a level where uh we will have very big homegrown startups become big companies sure why not uh-huh. what, <laughs> do you like if if this is a good question or not do you like think it's in the recent f- coming future or it, it it's in the near future or it will be a long way to go and i i'm asking this depending on kenya's politics depending on kenya's economic level and everything so um which which also means i'm asking does politics affect our startups in kenya i believe politics um will really if we ha- if we had the right we were you we were politi- if you we were, we, we were well lead, led or whatever not really uh-huh. because i believe that things that problems that you solve that irrespective of whether it's uh, the, the the political climate favors you or not uh-huh. um we'll see. you you will still uh-huh. if you are solving a problem you are solving a problem uh-huh. and you are solving a problem problem for the for a particular person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it won't they, they really when when, when 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 Dixon is thinking about uh his leaking tap. Mm-hmm. It does not really matter <laughs> when, who is who is who going to yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh-huh. if you can solve that particular problem and solve it well. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day and if you solve it for so many people, mm-hmm. you'll you'll definitely rise. Mm-hmm. But they now when it comes to support in that when, when when you talk of politics i think of like government support and all mm-hmm. yes the government is trying quite a number of things but i i still believe that there are co- there, there are so many things that also uh, there, there's a lot to be done in the in in in, in the same space in government support for the tech space yeah not just tech space but, but generally generally uh-huh. because not everyone is doing tech uh-huh. some some guys are just uh, in agriculture and uh-huh. they're trying to do their own thing uh-huh. and uh-huh. maybe just supporting that line will, will, will help them yeah what do you see your your solutions uh in like maybe next year i don't know just in the near future wow. and in the coming future uh-huh. so um we are trying mm-hmm. quite a number of things mm-hmm. just to make sure but so uh, like by, you by, you, the the, going by, by the end of the year by the end of the year we, we, we want to hit the market mm-hmm. and hit it hard mm-hmm. because hit we've done we, yeah. we, we we've done quite a number of iterations we've solved the problem we've seen i see even right right now there are people trying out the same same um, sort of solutions same mm-hmm. solution mm-hmm. Some of them are, are, are around the same area. Some of them are still way back. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, how we look at uh, the ecosystem is that we don't want to develop a solution for our own, but 
we want to develop an ecosystem whereby if Dixon thinks of developing something in the real estate space, if he wants to do stuff around IoT, mm -hmm. he'll not have to develop a platform. Mm -hmm. He'll just come and plug it onto the platform. Mm -hmm. So if there's a developer out there who's trying to who's trying to work on a particular niche problem, like mm -hmm. you might all all your focus area might just be uh, electricity usage in properties. Mm -hmm. You want to monitor that. Mm -hmm. We want to be the platform that you so come and plug on. So you platform where people, where can, people can come and build verticals. Uh -huh. So you can, you can, tomorrow you might want to do uh, loans for landlords. Nice. Uh -huh. You come and just, just plug in. Plug in and uh, it works for Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. So that is how we look at it. We don't... We, we, you're not going as a flat thing you're going as something that can scale into very many different some something that can someone can come and plug on build on uh, and build and have their own solution on top of it uh -huh. yeah. because i believe you're in a very big space it's maybe kenyans don't see it as big currently but they'll slowly come to realize it's a very very, very there, there, there are so many people who've seen the potential mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, in, the, the good thing with the, where we are right now is that we are able to prioritize mm -hmm. because we've tried and tested and we, mm -hmm. we know where uh, we need to hit hard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then bring the rest of the things, the things slowly to tie in later mm -hmm. yeah so um, there's, there's still, there's still room for a lot. Yeah, I can, I can go on and on and on. In when, if we talk about real estate space, there's, there's, so, there's much. so much. There's yeah. so much. Like, uh, le let me give you an example. Uh -huh. When uh, you're looking for a property, uh -huh. how did you get it? How long did it take you to actually get what you wanted? Uh, I don't know if I'll be the best example for this, but I went to. Raka walked. I was like, I'm not paying any agent anything. Yeah. I'm just going to get myself a good space, and if it pleases me, I'll pay rent there. So I go to the first place; it's very expensive. Go to the second place; it's very expensive. The third place, I meet this watchman, and and he's like, if you want a place, let me call you someone, and they'll take you around. And I'm like, now I have to end up with an agent. And so he calls this agent, she comes and she's like, uh, uh, this is the charges and I assure you, you'll get a good house at your, at your uh, budget. Uh, and I was like, yeah, if you assure me and we get a place, I pay you your agent fees. And she was like, yes. So we walked around, uh, went around the area and we were only visiting places uh, on my budget. And that's how I ended up with a place. It was one day, but... Yeah, I had to pay the agency fee. I had to pay the deposit and all that. Yeah, but uh. so can you imagine if someone were to tell you to move to Mombasa? Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh -huh. like, just the thought of it alone is is it's, mind boggling yeah, because, uh -huh. and yet we are at an age whereby uh, uh, we've got so many solutions, mm -hmm. but that problem isn't solved. Mm -hmm. Each and, and I'm just thinking, you were saying you can build vertically from the solution. Exactly. Because exactly. if I wanted to move, I don't yeah. have to now go to Facebook, look for movers yeah. and all that. Exactly. Just be, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's your move, your, you, you've given your, your vacate notice. Mm, vacation notice. Uh -huh. your, your, your property gets listed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the other side, okay, the, the system already knows, okay, Dixon stays in a one bedroom or uh -huh. two bedroom and. Uh -huh. Uh, this is price range. Uh -huh. This is what he's wow. expecting. Uh -huh. where, where is it? Okay, it I will can ask really you. See where, 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 where do you want to move to? You, you want uh -huh. to move to Eldoret? Okay, uh -huh. let's uh -huh. make it easier for you to get Find a, a place, place yeah. in Eldoret. Uh -huh. Let, let's give you suggestions. Mm -hmm. Let, let's give you some contact numbers, people mm -hmm. you can call mm -hmm. for vacant houses that are already there, just waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So you can already rent yeah. while after giving the uh, your notice of vacating yeah. the premises, you can already be given uh, ideas for places you, you're moving to. Yeah. You can even pay the deposit and everything and yeah. just Why not? <laughs> get movers from the solution from the same, same to solution. carry you, your stuff to the new place and yeah. 
it's yeah. like changing uh, rooms it's okay. like changing rooms basically uh-huh. Uh-huh. and and for example uh-huh. if your current landlord needs to uh, refund your deposit mm-hmm. why it's it should be possible for you just to move because landlord the other never, place <laughs> and, never, yeah so you yeah. can have your deposit moved to the other place immediately yeah, after 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 wow. like if say your property the property you, you there are no damages done mm-hmm, to the property mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can come with a checklist and just confirm that confirm everything the, is done. this is uh-huh. well using vision for for okay vision like vision technology uh-huh. uh, for machine learning. Uh-huh. You can just say okay, this will will this wall need paint or not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If it will not, we ex- that that That's is a done. check. Uh-huh. So uh, when you're moving, by the time you're moving, uh-huh. and uh, the agent will just come to confirm okay. Uh, the, the deposit uh-huh. should be sent or not uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. and then the deposit just moves to mm, the between you yeah, okay. to, the, to, to your uh-huh. new landlord without yeah and you that, also, that, you that, also that, talked that, about that. the loan system so you see it's a it's a and you know you can get so much data from just how someone pays rent you can get there's so you much can data, work with yeah. loan companies and all that to create a credit score and everything so yeah so how i'm looking at it is just all to do with the verticals uh-huh. the verticals that you can create when you have a, 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 a good underlying system uh-huh, uh-huh. um so from guys who are, who are looking at uh, uh, e-commerce based on real estate uh-huh. because it's the same the same landlords are the guys who build other properties uh-huh. the value chain for how they buy the cement and all that should be based on what they've done before mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, how they get loans based on the same how tenants move from one property to another at the end of the day we believe that when you started renting in say um, campus mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to when you live in your own property that credit score should be able to help you move to the next level mm-hmm. yeah you should be able to get loans based on that or mortgages based on that so there's so much uh your solution can do is going to do in future yeah uh, from loans from uh moving from so much and it's I, we're basically creating an ecosystem around the real estate space uh-huh. with tech as the underlying as platform, underlying platform. I, 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 I've enjoyed that discussion. I yeah. didn't expect it <laughs> that long, especially since it's the it's the first. Yeah, because you, yeah, you can't I, I, stop I, talking. I, 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 and, I, and I'm sure if if it weren't for the limitations of a camera, battery, and all that, we will talk and we will discover we have talked for so long. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything I haven't asked you that you felt I was I was to ask because I have no. There is nothing I'm reading by there. I'm just asking questions out of my head there. Yeah. One thing I know is um we need to come together mm-hmm. to develop solutions to solve our problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, And you you like you said you believe in this Kenyan uh, startups ecosystem. Uh yeah. the government needs to do a little like you're saying uh for support. But you didn't answer me on mindset. You just said people should really So do. Uh, when it comes to mindset um I, I believe it, it's more of persistence mm-hmm. because there, there are so many people who see a good idea. Okay, they see someone trying uh, something mm-hmm. and they want to do the same mm-hmm. without knowing. Okay, what actually drives? You. Because we are good at copying, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh, not so many people are willing to actually put in the hard work to make mm-hmm. sure that this stuff works. Mm-hmm. It's not just about a matter of uh, solving the problem. But having to make sure what yeah, what having the need to actually yeah. make sure that at the end of the day, uh, when you have when when you have nothing else, you can still mm-hmm. wake up in the morning mm-hmm. to solve that particular solve problem. That. Mm-hmm. Not so many people have that uh, that drive. Inner drive. Yeah. 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 So what what essentially you're saying is entrepreneurs are, or if you want to be sort of a problem solver. You shouldn't just look at the support you're getting. You should also have your own inner drive. You should push whenever. Ninety percent. You should just push. Ninety percent is uh-huh. what you are able to do on a day-to-day basis, mm-hmm. constant, persistently. Mm-hmm. Yesterday you are doing this mm-hmm. because there there are days when I wake up and I'm like, 
okay, I still don't know how to design, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for example. Mm-hmm. And uh, am, am I willing to pay a design? Do I have the cash, to, have pay, the cash, the cash to, to pay, pay a designer? Design. Mm-hmm. Uh, who can I call to help me fix mm-hmm, mm-hmm. these design issues? Mm-hmm. And then you end up at the end of the day, you're not able to actually get someone to help you with something. Mm-hmm. But it's a skill you can just jump onto Facebook, uh, not Facebook, but YouTube mm-hmm. and learn mm-hmm. in a couple of, couple of hours. There are so many tutorials. There are times when Still you, on that. Yeah. So uh, as the CEO and founder of your company, what do you do? Do you have a team? Because people might be thinking, oh, I need a team to do this. You're just talking about learning skills. So I, I, I felt like I should ask that. So, um, the, it, yes, I, I do have a team, mm-hmm. but they, it's not like they work on a day-to-day basis on mm-hmm. this particular project. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, You do most of the stuff. So you yeah, yeah, like you, you what do to, you do and what do you the, learn on the job and everything? There, there are things that you have to learn on the job, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, how to talk to your clients mm-hmm. who deter- determine who are actually your clients they, mm-hmm. they, they, they how to talk as in there's so many doing the marketing doing the marketing oh so you have a to learn bit. the marketing yeah you, actually, you have to learn how you to have approach. to be a marketer uh-huh. you have to listen even if you are an introvert who focuses on you are just, just a techie uh-huh, uh-huh. and you don't feel like okay i need to open the curtains uh-huh. to actually so you have to people. learn to talk to people you have to learn how to meet them yeah, because you have to sell your idea your to idea. Uh-huh. even not just a client uh-huh. but to the rest of your team uh-huh, uh-huh. you you have to be able to just and and you have to understand your idea and find a way of selling it there are things to do with you have there, to there, learn. There's, there's so many things you, that you, you, you learn on the move on a day-to-day mm-hmm. basis whether it's you learn to code for for, the, for your startup yeah you, <laughs> you have to learn how to code to do some a little bit of design, design ui uh-huh. ux just uh-huh. understanding uh design thinking uh-huh. because it's uh-huh. one of those things i believe each and every single founder should be in one way or another you are, you should be able to think like a designer like a designer whereby uh-huh. you empathize with the users and, uh, and understand use, how they use your platform exactly mm-hmm. because that is very core to to developing a solution mm-hmm. no it's not just a matter of knowing the problem and thinking of what you believe is the solution mm-hmm. yeah yeah um at the end of the day mm-hmm. and i keep on saying this is that persistency mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh there's there's so many there's there are so many rainy days in in, entrepre- in, in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship uh-huh. and uh, in, in startup uh-huh. you'll have so many times that you'd have to i don't know if i can twice. call myself an entrepreneur <laughs> with my uh website yes. because there's times where there is nothing you have literally just been writing and you have went to make a single shilling because ads are not making money there's nobody approaching you for anything and you're like it's silent yeah so you <laughs> have silent. to it, it so <laughs> like you're saying on persistence it means it has to be you yeah. it, it's not just you have to believe in your idea even through the thick yeah thick days because uh, try uh, imagine if in those days mm-hmm. uh, if you are like if you need you actually needed uh, equipment mm-hmm. and there's no way you're getting cash Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's very easy for you to give you yourself an excuse. You know what? Uh, yeah. I have not gotten funding. Uh-huh. That's why I'm not doing this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But no one is, no is coming. Is not, no one is coming to your rescue, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> bro. No one is coming to your rescue. Uh-huh. You have to figure it all out. Like uh-huh. the days when you'll have to wake up um, late or early, early. Uh-huh. And, and wonder what am I going to do today. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because yesterday nothing worked, mm. and they're going to have so many of such days. Such days before you yeah. get to the when that client that uh, you are prospecting and was going to give you, <laughs> you, you are so sure about the client. You had marketed <laughs> yourself very well. <laughs> yeah. You had already figured out how you're going to get the cash, uh-huh. and everything everything was going to be everything was set. Bliss. You're uh, sure now yeah. at a vacation. I'm <laughs> yeah. going to take a vacation. Uh-huh. They don't owe you anything. Uh, They'll wake up the next moment and, 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 and say, <laughs> "Don't 
pick up your calls. Uh-huh. They actually want to pick up your calls. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll go, and they'll yeah, and they'll go to the you'll go to the to their offices and they'll tell you, you know what, the boss is still busy today. Uh-huh. Uh schedule an appointment. An appointment. Yeah, this, this is the guy you, you, you are talking with. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. you'll have such days mm-hmm. when you'll have to walk back home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thinking of uh, what, to do, how, what to do with your life <laughs> and uh-huh. if you don't actually believe on believe in what you're doing uh-huh. if you're trying to copy someone else uh-huh. if you're trying to just if all you can see is just the cash that uh-huh. I'm doing this for the money you'll miss it you'll, you'll miss, miss, the, you'll you'll miss to, the whole you thing. have to be passionate about what you're doing too. yeah and the journey and Kaizen yeah. uh-huh incremental progress like each and every single they try to engage or try to move a little bit know something new, new. Uh-huh. about your business each and every single day yeah okay thank you very much for having, <laughs> for having me thank you very much for being here yeah thank you very much for everything i'm i'm i'm, I'm so grateful mm-hmm. i'm so grateful uh, all the best in all your the in best. series <laughs> I'm so happy to have been the first one. To be the first. I so. hope your video will be the first one. <laughs> you might be the first one to record, but yeah. your video will be the last one. Too. No problem. As, as as long as I was the first one here. So, cheers. Thank you guys for listening or for watching. And cheers. Bye. Bye. Okay, so guys, that has been the first episode. It was a long discussion. There's some bits that were cut off because uh we veered off into other conversations, but it was fun having Dennis. It was fun discussing everything that we talked about, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe for that. Let us have a discussion in the comment section below about everything we talked about. Thank you.